Hi, and welcome to IndieProducersDirectory.com. We're going to do a walkthrough of the My IPD section of the site. Anyone who registers for free with IndieProducersDirectory.com, for as long as you stay registered for free with IndieProducersDirectory.com, you will have access to your username and password protected section of the site called My IPD. This is just you. Let's look at the first section, which is My IPD Profile. Here you can see your current subscriptions and services. Here you can see your changeable user profile. And below, your order history with the site. Let's go back up here and look what's next. My IPD Email and Fax Sent List. If you subscribe to IPD Email and Fax Service, an Indie Producers Directory sends out a query letter and a log line using the IPD email and fax service in your name so that only responses come to you. We deposit for your reference into my IPD email and fax sent list a folder and in that folder is a list of the companies we have sent your query letter and log line to by using our IPD email and fax list. If you are subscribed to IP directory, this list is live. So you can click on After Dark, and they will come up. And you can check out each company that is on the list one at a time. My IPD Save Company is the next section. Here is where you have an opportunity to create your own personal directories. You can create a directory for a project title. You can create a directory for genre, genres. You can create a directory by budget, location, whatever you choose. As many directories as you like. No problem. Here's how you do it. If you subscribe to Indie Producers Directory and you're working with the search engine, I'll just do a simple example. No, actually, I'll do a complex example so I can show you two things. Let's say you do a thriller, crime thriller, crime thr drama, crime, and drama. And you want to do that search specific to the location of your film, which is New York, New York. You're hoping that companies in New York are going to respond sooner than companies in other parts of the country. Okay, fine. Quick note, in case I didn't say it sooner, if you're working on a tablet and you're looking at Indie Producers Directory Search and you're working there, it's best for you to be in portrait position. Okay, so with a search like this, let's do this search and see what we come up with. So in New York, New York, thriller, drama, crime, crime, crime. Lots of crime. So here we search with 117. Now, the default is 15 names per page. So you can search by, you can go page by page by page if you like, or with the results per page, you can open it up to where you have one long string of companies. So now, you like this search. This is going to really let you focus. The first thing you t should do is save the search. Let's save the search and name the search New York, New York, Thrillers and Crime, which we'd already created before, so we're just writing over it and it's fine. Okay, so now we've created this search. So we have this search and we have 117 companies we can search for. So let's say we start our search and the first thing we do is we look at A-Line and we say, hmm, we like A-Line. That's great. That's great. We're going to add them. To what? To a folder we have to create because we haven't created any folders. Let's create this folder by the title of the film. Let's call this title uh, Winter in New York. And we're going to add that folder to our saved companies folders, which I'll show you in a second. We're going to open that folder here and make it available so that A-Line pictures can be added to that folder. I will close this up and you will now see the company has been added, A-Line. Now, 
there's 117 companies. If I'm doing really solid research, I'm doing 50 companies a day. If I'm going out to their internet site, I'm cross-referencing the films, I'm seeing how the films were doing, etc., 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 who the company, who the people in the company were before, where they worked before, and so on. I'm doing really good research. And I'm saving the companies, and as I'm saving them, I now have them all located in my IPD saved companies. But now let's look. Let's say we reset here, and it's two days later, and we're picking up where we left off. We've searched a hundred companies so far. The first thing we want to do in order to start and continue our research is to go to My IPD, open up My IPD Save Searches, look for New York, New York Thrillers in Crime, open that up. There's our 117 companies. Let's say we know we left off at uh, the fourth page and we know we began with K for Kamala and that was going to be where we were going to begin. So we open up Kamala, Marissa McMahon, we can look them up on their site, so forth and so on. What Maisie knew, good film, we want to add them to our A Winter in New York project. Okay, so now let's say as we're going along doing our research we, at the end of the day, spend a little time looking at the companies we've saved. The companies we've saved are in the list. There would be obviously many more here, but just let's look at these two so I can illustrate what is important about what happens when you save a company. In this folder, A Winter in New York, are the two companies so far. There will be many more. When I open A-Line Pictures, I have a section up here where I can continually always track a winter in New York and its relationship to A-Line Pictures. It might immediately be a pass, it might be some interaction, it might end up with a meeting. But all of that can be kept here by date specific to that project and that company. And I can make as many notes as I need to here in order to keep myself refreshed. I can make a note about when I want to come back and uh, follow up with the company or do something else, whatever it may be. I'm constantly saving this information. As I save it, the file bills, the file bills, the file bills. I might have first day put in that I'm going to send, um, I'm going to send something to Caroline on 425. I save that. Two months later, for sake of discussion, Caroline has sent me an email saying, hey, we'd love to read a script. She sent me a request on the 20th. I've sent out a, re I've sent out a script to Peggy. Uh, Caroline sees assistant. That's good enough on 622. Now I'm waiting. Two months later, three months later, they might call up and ask for a meeting. I'm making notes about that all down here as I need to. And I'm saving my notes. So each time I get an email from that company, I'm not scrambling about my notes and my folders on my desktop. I'm wherever I am in the world. And all I need to do is log on from wherever I am, go to my IPD, go to the section that is my saved companies, go to my winter in New York, go to A-Line, and make my notes. I close out of that. I close out of that. Last thing I want to show you is uh, I showed you my save searches and why you save your searches. Last thing we need to know is Contact IPD. Contact IPD is for us at IndieProducersDirectory.com to know that a registered user is trying to contact us rather than just somebody with a general question. We do heavy research, we do great research, we get you an answer. You agree to the terms, fill in as much as you need to, Go as much as you need to. We're ready to answer it. We're re ready to help you. And you submit. That's it. I'm done. Thank you very much. Goodbye.